Hi everybody, it's Joey, and I'm here to do a, um, hold on. I'm here to do an April favorites video. Um, first I'm going to tell you the reason why I got dressed up and I did my makeup today was because I thought I had a date today. Um, I, I did have a date. Um, we planned it or whatever, and he flaked on me last minute. I literally just sprayed my finishing spray on my face. I did, I just finished everything. And he said he couldn't go because he was depressed or something. I don't know what the hell he was talking about. But, um, whatever. I said, what, I have my makeup on. I look good. Let me just do a video at this point. You know what I mean? I might as well not waste the makeup and just do a video. So I'm going to do an April favorites. I have quite a few April favorites. So, um, I'm going to get started with makeup. Let me get started with makeup. Yes. Okay. So first makeup item is um, Jeffree Star Cosmetics Skin First and Ice Cold. I just ordered um, Daddy Liquid Lipstick. So that should be coming soon. Ooh, here it is. Um, I've been using it up nonstop. Nonstop. I've been highlighting my brows. I've been putting it in the, in the um, tear ducts of my eyes. Um, I have it on right now in, in, in my uh, highlight my brows and the tear ducts. I have the... Um, I have the ice cold on. Um, I didn't highlight a contour today, but I know when I normally do, I wear this. Um, yeah, it is um, a gorgeous, 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 um, silvery white, frosty highlight. And I love that one. I really do. I think it's one of the best highlighters I, get, I ever used, ever had, I ever tried in my entire life. And I'm just keeping it 100% real. I heard some mixed reviews on Eclipse. The color is nice, but I heard that, um, I don't know, it's not as um, creamy or doesn't blend well or whatever. But Ice Cold does, so whatever. Um, next makeup item is <clears throat> uh, this Jeffrey Star Liquid Lipstick and Posh Spice. I love this color. Um, I really do... Um, it's like a nude, um, brownish with a tint of gray in there. I like it. It is patchy, but it, um, when it goes on, it stays on and it doesn't non-sticky and it goes on and it doesn't budge. It doesn't budge. It, I mean, you can eat, drink. Um, of course if you eat, like, a slice of pizza or something or a burger, I mean, of course. But, like, if you have, like, if you eat with a fork... And stuff like the, it won't come off. If you kiss, won't come off. Um, it's good. If you drink, won't come off. Um, uh, the next makeup item is um, Kylie Jenner. I just got um, three Kylie Jenner products. I got the li a liquid lipstick, a uh, lip liner, and lip gloss in the same color in Coco K. This is in Coco K. I got all three in Coco K. Yeah, okay, so um, I have it on my lips now. So that's it on my lips. Um, yeah, so let me just tell you what it is. Okay, so this is the um, gloss. This is the Matte Liquid Lipstick. And Lip Liner. Again, all in the same shade, Coco K. It's like a pale pinky nude. I love it. Um, let me start off with the, the, the uh, lip liner, because that's what I use first. So first I outline the lips. This is perfect. Lip, lip Liquid lipstick, wait for it, let's dry, and then put the gloss on top. Um, but this has been my favorite combination all April. The lip liner is nice. I mean, it's like, it glides really smoothly. I like that. I do. Um, it's really nice. And it's great because it matches the shade. So you know it's, it matches the shade perfectly. So it's really good. Um, next I'll do the Matte Liquid Lipstick. Um, these Matte Liquid Lipsticks are very good. Like they go on creamy, but then it dries matte and it does not come off. It's like bulletproof. Um, this smells like candy. Like literal candy. Um... The lip glosses smell more like um, cupcakes and vanilla. This smells more like candy, the liquid lipsticks. Um, I love it. I love it. It's non-drying. It's a really great formula. I really do. Now I know why 
Kylie Jenner's Matte Liquid Lipsticks is so popular because it's a really great formula. Um, lip gloss. I already have Twilla. I have So Cute and Literally in the lip glosses. So I already have that already. But this one's in Coco K. And yeah, it smells like that cupcake vanilla smell and all the lip glosses. It smells really good. And the gloss is very vibrant, very pigmented, very glossy. All three together, it withstands a winter's cold. I mean, it, it withstands anything. It withstands a blizzard. Like, it, it withstands anything. If you do all three combination in the same color, like, you will... It will stay on all day. Maybe you may have to touch up the lip gloss, but it will stay on all day. So, I'm telling you, it is... It is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful experience. And I love it. And I will forever purchase that. Forever, ever, and ever. Okay, next I'll just do this. Okay, so I have the Full of Liquid Lipstick uh, Lip Scrub and Root Beer. Um, it smells great. And I use so much of it already. I've been using this every single day. Um, not every day, but mostly every day. And it's just delicious. Like, it tastes great. It makes my lips feel smooth. And I've been loving this for the month of April. Next thing I'll do is fragrances. The um the one perfume I've been loving all April so far is um Fame by Lady Gaga. Oh. I've had this for a couple of years now, but I I haven't I just started using it this April. It's a very um it's a floral smell. It's very florally, um, and it has a hint of sweetness, which is the honey in it. So it's like floral mixed with honey. It's really nice. Perfect for the spring months. Um, it looks more like a perfume you'd wear for like, I don't know, fall, but like, no, it smells like something you'd wear for spring and it's a great perfume. Lasts all day. I have it on now, it smells so good. They say that this is like um, unisex. It's To me, it's not, but I, I wear women's perfumes, I don't care, but if a guy wants to wear buy cologne and they think this is unisex, it's not, this is a perfume. This doesn't smell like cologne or unisex at all. But I love it. It has also like a baby powdery smell to it underneath it. The honey and the floral. I like that. The next thing I've been loving is um I'm gonna go in, the rest stuff the rest of the stuff is Bath and Body Works, so the rest so this is great. Okay, so the first thing I've been loving is this A Thousand Wishes Bath Fizz. Now you, you only get one use out of them. I have a couple others I already used. I have not used this one yet, but I've used Beautiful Day. I've used Woman Vanilla Sugar, so I know how it is. And the bath fizz is a great, like, it's it's colorful now. Like, normally the bath fizzes before didn't change the color of the water. It just made it smell good. And it made it, like, fizz up. This, however, changes the color of the water. The Beautiful Day changes it to blue. Um, Woman Vanilla Sugar changes it to, like, a... What color was it? It was like a yellowish orange. It's very light tan. No, it was like a tan yellow. It was like it was it was like it was a light color. This I can just imagine. It's probably gonna change it to a hot pink. I can just imagine make and it smells so good. Like it smells just like the fragrance. Unfortunately, they are like seven something. They're really expensive and um, you know, you can't oh no, they're right here, the price. It's six ninety five. It's not like buy two, get one free, like they're all sold individually. Um, also, you only get one use out of this. So, I mean, six fifty for one bath. I mean, it's kind of expensive. They should lower the price, so they should make a bundle where you can get three for six fifty. That would make more sense. Um, or even two for six fifty would even be a better deal. But this, like one for six, one bath for six fifty, they need to change that. I'm sorry, Bath and Body Works, you need to change that price. It's not a good price point. It's really not. Um, but yeah, but it's, 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 it's nice. You could also cut it in half and use one, but you're not going to fill up the whole tub. It's not going to happen. I mean, it's not. You're going to have to use the whole thing, you know, to fill up the whole tub. The next thing I'm going to talk about is a candle. I just lit this up. I just, I just, like, took this out, so that's why, like, some of the wax is still not melted all the way. But this is in Champagne Toast. And this is like the new spring, I think new like French spring um, packaging. 
um, champagne toast, and it has, like, gates all around it, so pretty, and then it has, like, um, a topper, I don't know, just, like, a nice topper, it's very fancy, very unique, pretty. The notes reads, Chateau, ou Chateau, champagne, wild berries, and sweet orange. This smells just like the body care and, uh, champagne toast, it smells just like, you know, it's just champagne toast, you know, um, it smells delicious. Mmm. So sweet and delicious. Um, so delicious. It just smells so, so sweet. So fizzy. Like a nice fruity, um, cocktail. Delicious. Okay. The candle's out of the way. Now, um, what, the two fragrances I've been loving for the month of, um, April when it comes to body care is the, um, Beach Nights. Summer Marshmallow. And of course, this is in white because it's the same smell. I freaking love this. Like, I've been loving this, um, all April. This is more like, you can wear this all year round. It's sweet enough to get around for, um, the fall and the winter, but then it's also, um, has that, um, oceany, cool breeze, smoky smell, the clean, fresh ocean smell that can also be worked for spring and summer. So it's a perfect scent for all year round. Um, I really love it. It's perfect. Mmm. Oh my god, it smells so good. And this is the cream. I'm gonna put some cream on now, actually. Cause I didn't put on cream yet today. Oh my god. It's just such a great smell. I already talked about this in my other video, my Bath and Body Works and Manual Sale Haul video. Mmm, it smells delicious. Like I'm telling you right now, you will never get a better scent than this. I mean they're gonna have to keep, they're gonna have to make something um for the permanent line. Because so far, these two has come out in a collection form with other scents. They need to do an individual set smell with this smell and just keep it all year round. Um, I would just, I would just bring my beach night some marshmallow and just call it a day and just keep it there forever. It will be the award winning set next, the award winning set next to A Thousand Wishes. I really do believe that. If they keep it around, that would be the new number one, America's best number one seller, whatever you want to call it. Oh my god, I love to really rub it in deep, you know? Mm, so moisturizing, so sweet and delicious. Oh my god, I love it. Ugh, can't go wrong with that. Okay, so now the last two items are shower gels. For, and my, the shower gels I've been loving for the month of April, which I haven't really started, excuse me. I haven't really started using them, but the smells are great. And let me, and you can't go wrong with them. So the first one is Rose Champagne. This is part of the new French line. And this is the new packaging for the shower gels. It's the square bottle. I think that I heard rumors they're going to change the fragrance mist and all the bottles to this. So that's what I um, heard. So this one is Rosé Champagne. So there's like four in the French line. This is like from Mother's Day or something. Um, it's This one's the Picnic in Provence. So this is the Picnic in Provence one. And the notes are sparkling clementine, crisp bergamot, apple blossom, pink pepper, and blonde woods. Um, the packaging is, I love the color, but the packaging itself is just bland. I think they wanted to make it look like a Chanel, something like a Chanel shower gel, a Chanel perfume, or something you'd get, like, just very, like, like, it's, it looks nice, like the shape and then the color, but, um, it looks more toned down than what they normally do. Mmm. It smells really good. Um, you definitely smell the woody note. Um, you do smell like a spicy note in it. That's the pink pepper. Um, it says rosé champagne. I mean, it does... It doesn't really smell like roses. I mean... It doesn't smell like roses. You can smell the champagne, like the um, the light fizziness that's in champagne toast. You do smell that in this. But um, I think the notes that stand out the most are the blonde woods and the clementine, the sparkling clementine. I think those are the two notes that stand out the most in this. Yeah, I think that's what stand out, stands out the most in this, are those two notes. But yeah, I do like that one. The second and last shower gel and the last product for my able favorites is the one at the beach. This is the perfect beach scent. Um, it's 
flawless, absolutely flawless. The notes are white fragipani, blossoms, toasted coconut, bergamot water, sea salt breeze, sun-kissed mask. And the description is sun, white sands, warm sunlight, fresh waves, a cool salt water, salt water breeze, life's more beautiful at the beach. Now let's see what this smells like. Mm. This smells like at the beach. Totally, perfectly at the beach. It smells, you get the coconut. You get the ocean, fresh, clean ocean, salt water um, scent. And then you also get a suntan lotion type of smell. So it's the perfect at the, they, I mean, it's named perfectly at the beach because it's the perfect beach smell. It has everything you love about the beach. The ocean smell, the um, suntan lotion smell, and the coconuts. So it's perfectly blended perfectly for at the beach and it's delicious. It's delicious. I wish it wasn't on my nose bag because I would have got... Mmm, it smells so good. It smells like a banana, the banana boat suntan lotion. It just smells a lot like that too. Um, yeah, but I'm on my nose bag so I can't go crazy. Um, but the notes that um, you get the most is the suntan and probably the coconut. Those are the two notes you get the most in this at the beach. Which suntan lotion isn't a note, but that's what you smell. So that's it. That's all the products for my April favorites. Um, should I do TV shows? Okay, so the TV shows I've been loving this month, uh, for the month of April, is RuPaul's Drag Race. I've been loving RuPaul's Drag Race. Um, my favorite is the older guy. I forgot what his name is. Um, he's not that old. He's like middle-aged. He's from New York. I forgot what his name is. He's a little chubby. He's not that chubby, but he's kind of a little chubby. Um, he's really cute as a boy, and he's very pretty as a girl. I, I forgot what the... What, he almost won the last challenge, too. So far, my favorite lip sync battle has been um, the one with Holding Out for a Hero, which was the episode with the princesses. And, um, the show says, make your own princess, whatever. That was my favorite episode, and that was my favorite lip sync so far. It's up to episode six, I think, or episode six, I forget. And then, um, what else? What else have I been loving? Um, Bad Girls Club. Listen, this season wasn't the best, but it wasn't the worst. Um, I think the drama was, was at a, a really at a whole time high. I mean, there was so many fights. The thing I didn't like about it was, um, the people. I didn't like a lot of the cast members, and I didn't really like, um, the, where they lived. It was kind of like they were living in a garage. I don't know, I, I just didn't like it. It didn't look like a normal Bad Girls Clubhouse to me. Um, it was good. It was good. The drama was great. I think there was a lot of fighting, a lot of intense drama. Um, some of the drama was stupid, like, you know, for no reason type shit, like, because someone said something behind your back. I don't know. Some stupid drama. But um, it wasn't a bad season. I like it. I liked it. The finale just aired. And next is the reunion. So. Yeah. But it's the last season. That's it. It's the last season. So no more Bad Girls Club. I do believe like MTV or someone else is going to pick it up. But for right now it's done. Bad Girls Club is done with. Um, now the sh I really am not loving the... Um, Once Upon a Time... I always loved Once Upon a Time, but this season was horrible, so I'm not even going to talk really discuss about it. There's really no... S I don't even know what the hell the storyline is. I do believe it's ending. I think this will be the last season, and this, the season finale this particular season is called The Final Battle. So that just says, right in itself, this will be this not only the season finale, but the series finale. Um, I think it does need to end. I really do. I think it just got so bad. It got so bad. The fifth season... Half of it was good, half of it was bad. When it was bad, it was bad. When it was good, it was good. This season is just really bad. Like, I, there was probably like maybe two episodes I really liked. And and every other episode was just, has just been horrible. It's been horrible. I mean, horrible. I didn't even really like the Aladdin storyline. I liked it, but I didn't like it the way I thought I would. Yeah. It just hasn't been... I love this now. It hasn't been the best. So, it's not one of my fa it's not my favorites for this month at all when it comes to TV shows. Um, movies I've been loving. I loved um, Get Out. I saw that. Beauty and the Beast. That came out. But I, I think I saw that the end of March, beginning of April. Um, and Get Out was a really good thriller. 
Um, yeah, uh, what are the TV shows that I've been watching? Oh my god, like if I look, oh, The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills was, was hilarious, I love that show, that just ended. I mean, no, there's one more part of the reunion and then it's over. Um, yeah, I don't know, I, sh I think I'm gonna start doing like episode reviews. Like when Real Housewives of New Jersey comes back, because it's coming back this summer sometime, I'm thinking I'm gonna do um, a video for each episode and give you my description, just my opinion on each episode, because The Real Housewives of New Jersey is my favorite of the franchise, it's the New Jersey one. So I probably will do that, reviews of each episode. Um, yeah, I think that's it. There's really no other shows, right? I mean, I prob there probably is, but I'm forgetting. But that's it. That's probably what all I've been loving for the month of April. Um, oh, also, two things. 13 Reasons Why, that TV show, 13 Reasons Why. I finished it in two freaking seconds. I mean, well, not literally, but basically, well, I finished it in like two days. The, the TV show was amazing. Um, it was so good. I really love the cast. I really love the episodes. The second, I know there will be a second season. I think it's really great. I'm not going to say anything more because I don't want to do spoilers. But you can watch every episode you want on Netflix right now. It was a really great show, um, about this girl who, this teen girl who commits suicide and she leaves 13 tapes as to why she did it. And the, the story starts unraveling in each episode of why she did it and it's just very, it's very thrilling. Um, also the Starbucks Frappuccino was good. It tastes like candy. I just tried it yesterday and it's going to be out for maybe like another day. It just came out for a few days in April. Um, it's sweet. Tastes like candy. It's a little sour. Not that sour. Not as sour as people think it, think it is. It's sweet. It's like, it tastes like a candy drink. It's a lot of sugar. It's very sweet. And, um, would I ever try it again? No, but it was an experience and it's very pretty. And, um, I actually took a picture. I'm going to put it on Instagram. But yeah, so the unicorn frappuccino, I would try it. Because it does taste good, it's like it tastes bad. But it wouldn't be a religious thing for me. Like I'm gonna buy it every day, even if it was like a normal um, drink that came out all the time at Starbucks. So anyways, I love you guys. I'm gonna be done. That's my favorite, April favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. And bye.